In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create uh, backgrounds, vector backgrounds like this one here on the screen. If I go to view and click on wi simple wireframe, you would notice that it's all vector and it, ha it has a very neat patterns, very nice patterns. So I go to view, enhance. Now let us start with a very simple one which is this one here, this one and this one. So to analyze the the pattern or the the background, it has a center here and I've got some lines going this way. But you notice also that the fill of this one is a radial fill, a fountain fill. If you look at here in the status bar it says they're fountain. So it's a fountain fill. Now if I click on this one here, which is the darker green, it's also a fountain fill. Okay. So basically both are fountain fills. Now let's start with a tutorial by copying this uh this uh this pattern here, plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate without offset. And I'm going to move it in this side here. Okay. Now I'm going to create a square. So hold down control to make a perfect square. It doesn't matter, you can also do a rectangle, but for this exercise we're going to do a square. So you go to your rectangular tool and then click and drag but hold down control to make a perfect square. If you notice it's a perfect square by looking at the dimension here it's the same the width and the height. Now in here uh, we have to set our settings to snap to objects. Why? Because if we if you want to look at uh, find the center of this, if I draw a line from here, okay, using my Bezier tool, I'll do that again. So my Bezier tool from here, and if I want to find the center of the square, I just go here and it shows up. That's the center. See, it says there's center. So I click. So that's my line. Now I'm going to create some lines. So what I'll do, I'm going to, uh, I have to make a line like going out of the circle. And the tool that I'm going to use here, or the effect, is, is the transformation tool. Now if you go to arrange and click on mouse over on transformation, you're going to have these options here. Position, rotate, scale, size, and skew. What we're concerned here is the rotate. So you choose rotate and a docker will show up here. Now what does the docker uh, show? It shows the angle, the center of the rotation, okay, and this one too, and then apply to duplicate. We're going to start by changing the center of the rotation. So I've got this line, first click, second click, then I'm going to see that I have this rotation pin here. I have to move that to the center of the square. Okay, Make sure you are in snap to object. If not, this one won't show, you know, these snap modes. Anyway, so grab this uh, rotation center and move it to the center of the square. And now, here in the angle, let's say I'm going to put 12 so to every 12 degrees and then click on apply to duplicate See, apply to duplicate so just just click on apply to duplicate until you until it closes the object there there now i already have that so the only thing i have to do is to click on my smart field choose my smart field and I'm going to pour in the alternate design there. Okay. 
now now I don't I don't need this these lines anymore so what I'll do I'm going to select this one and I'm going to move it to the left side or I mean to the right side and then I'm going to delete this this lines here because I don't need that anymore I'm going to move this closer here and I'm going to color it okay to to make it make the coloring faster what I'll do I'll see this uh, the square here that's the square okay I'm gonna copy that by clicking on this icon here for copy or actually I want to cut it so cut it so or control X to cut it's not there but it's in the clipboard but later on we're gonna paste it now I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to combine it so click on combine I'm going to remove the outline right mouse click on the X icon and then I'm going to put a fill so I go to my fountain fill and uh, let's say I'm going to start with the light green and I'll make it radial okay so this one should be lighter and then this one should be the darker green let's try that one okay and then click OK so I have that already now I'm gonna paste the the one in the clipboard so paste this icon is paste so I have that first I'm going to make a dark green okay. okay it's on top of the of the lined object so I'm going to go to arrange order to back to back of page okay. and then with this dark green I can also put the fountain fill okay so radial and then I can make this lighter green or maybe this green here and then click OK so you notice it it has a that's the colors already now you can adjust the colors like like for example here you go back to your font and fill and uh, make this uh, yeah let's say you want to make this lighter so let's say lighter there and then this one will just make it pure white and click OK see that so you can adjust whatever you want the color to be okay so those are just a simple steps now let's go to this design here uh, let's let's do this one here plus sign your keyboard and I'll move it over to the right side enlarge this so basically this one is also the same concept but then the lines instead of uh, straight lines it's a wavy line okay. so again I'll make a rectangle rectangle and then hold on control and then make it bigger and uh, I am going to create one just one line one curved line so I'm still in my snap to objects so I click on the center here so I go to I went to my bezier tool and find the center of the square and then I'll click there then I can reshape this one so I click on the segment and I go to convert line to curve and I'm going to create my line okay. Okay. now uh, we go to our click on arrange transformation and then rotate okay. we had it for 12 degrees okay. and then remember our center because if we don't we if we don't choose the rotation we won't change the rotation pin like for example here if I click here see that's the rotation pin and then I click on apply to duplicate see what's gonna happen 
it's gonna going to duplicate with the center here because we didn't change the the rotation pin so now we're gonna change it click and then one more time and then move this center I mean center of rotation in the center of the square and then I just click on apply to duplicate there there you go and then we'll just do it quickly here smart fill tool and pour 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 there 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 and there okay so we're going to select just this one and then move it to the right side and then we don't need these lines anymore so we'll just delete that and then we'll focus on this object here so basically so click on the square control X to cut Okay, and then this one remove the outline right, right mouse click on this icon here and then I'm going to uh, combine it let's combine and then I'll fountain fill I'm going to make it this one is light yellow make this radial and I'll try to use this one okay now I'm gonna paste it and then I'm going to make that pure orange okay so arrange order to back of page there right mouse click on this then I have a we can also change the the radial fill we'll just make it a different color click OK there or we can make the this one darker a dark orange click on other and then I'll choose a really deep orange there you go okay so we have that because so we have that now this one here it's the same concept as same concept but it's just a wiggly line okay so it's a wiggly line and uh, Again, it's also easy to do it to do that. So I'm gonna make a square here. Hold on, Control. Okay, and then uh, instead of using the Bezier tool, I'm going to use my free hand. So click on my free hand, and then go to the center. Okay, I am still in my snap mode, a uh, snap to object, and then I'm going to make a wiggly line. And I can resize this, or actually I can make it smaller, like that. Uh, maybe not. Okay. And then again, I can go to uh, to my transformation and rotate, and this one will show up. And then 12 degrees, and then okay, get the rotation pin, move it to the center. And then click on apply 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 until you get the very nice pattern oops delete okay now I'm going to smart fill here 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 so it's just the same concept same procedure So again, move this to the right. So select all of this, move it this to the right, and I can delete this there. And then move this here to the left. And then control X or cut. And then combine this and put the gradient fill. Remove the outline first. Right mouse click. Fountain fill. Let's make it blue. So from here, radial, click OK. 
there and then we paste we'll make that dark blue arrange order to back of page and we can still change the the fill of that to go radial here to a lighter blue let's say lighter blue and click OK right, let's click okay that's a little bit subtle but it looks good just like that if you don't want to make it like a really strong um, color you know the last effect that we're going to do if you analyze this one here actually it looks very nice if you notice it's the same but one was mirrored and one was um, yeah one was mirrored and uh, and it was and the transparency was applied so let's go back here we can actually use the existing one say this one here we're gonna use this one existing so I click on my okay this is the I want to choose the this one I want to choose this one and I know it's the fountain fill it's the lighter color okay what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my keyboard and plus sign my keyboard to duplicate so there are two objects now here exactly the same without an offset and then what I'm going to do I'm going to mirror it vertically okay so mirror one vertically and there it goes like that now to make a really nice nicer design you go to your transparency tool and change make a uniform transparency see there it's nice okay so only we got one design now if you click on the other one which doesn't have transparency you can also add transparency uh, okay this one has transparency already I'm gonna get the one without transparency which is no that's not the one it's this one here okay. and I click on my transparency and then I'll click on uniform but then I can change the transparency instead of 50 I'll make it see what happens there that's a nice one see I made the two objects different transparency and I would achieve a really nice design it's very nice so so that's it I can also make this one let's try this one so I'll click on the fountain fill the lighter color plus sign your keyboard and then mirror vertically and then change the transparency make it uniform there I'm gonna zoom in here or you can leave the other the other one opaque without transparency it's very nice very nice design nice play of color that's it.